it's Issa here and I am back with another video for this series which is the hashtag road to RPH series. This is actually the third video of the series and if you want to see the first and second video I will have them linked down below or up here if I know how to make like those little cards. Um, the first video is my story, what I went through just so you have a gist of what what I went through and what was happening in my life at that time before I... yeah. And the second video is a short vlog of our pajama party, kitty party at Jollibee with my classmates. For this video, it also has a blog post with it which contains a slightly more detailed version of the uh, requirements and stuff so if you want the list and some important notes I already posted it there so I suggest you read it and then go back here because this is the video of the process itself but I will have the links down below everything so you can read and para less hassle and chill life para like alam niyo talaga so it may be kind of long so let's start now so first of all, this are the three um, parts that I will tackle in this. So the first, actually not three parts, the three um, application processes. So the first one, actually, I just, um, the first uh, examination registration or reservation. So if you're going to take the board exam, if you're planning to take the board exam, this is the first requirements and stuff. And then for the second is the board exam itself. Um, people don't usually say or that you can't usually see um, anything about the board exam or what you're supposed to bring. So I had a hard time about that. So parang like hassle, hassle. So here it is. And we have the last one is for the initial registration. If you are a newly passer of the board exam, you will need to still go online and register on something. So this is that. So I have three of that and I will show it to you. So first of all, I want you to ensure, like make sure, check, check, check everything, the spelling of your name and everything else. Especially in your birth certificate, your transcript of records, your good moral certificate, your DTR, everything. Make sure that the spelling of your name is correct because that is the most important thing for me. Um, I had a problem wherein my birth certificate had a wrong spelling on my name. So it was processed and now it's okay. Um, I just had to file for an affidavit of discrepancy at that time and I was actually accepted naman. So make sure that everything or all your requirements have the correct spelling. With that, make sure you apply for all the requirements needed early. Ngayon pa lang, you try na maunti-untiin nyo na. So like, kuha na muna kayo ng sedula and then... Um, pag like weekend, bag ayos na kayo, bag pa picture na kayo para isahan na lang pag ng picture, para fresh yung picture niyo sa board exam pati sa um, magiging PRC ID niyo. And then, um, kuha na kayo ng NBI kasi medyo mahabang ang pila sa NBI. Pero you can go online. Uh, ano pa ba? Basta like sa birth certificate, yung iba, wag, wag na kayo magpa-express pag early pa kayo. Kasi, Kaya nyo naman puntahan. I think nasa Poreza lang yung PSA. So, if ever na wala pa kayong birth certificate, you should get it now. And at least, pag like may free cut kayo, huwag kayong magka-cut. Pag may free cut, then go, just go ahead. And, yun. So, make sure to get all your requirements early. Huwag nyo akong gayahin na parang sa last minute lang na parang wala akong pake. Kasi, I really didn't know what to do. So, I just waited for others and then sinunod ko lang ginawa nila. So now, kayo nang mauuna. Okay, so what else? Um, for the DTR, you should check the number of hours and your signatures. Yun yung pinaka-importante. Signatures ng pharmacist nyo during that time and your signatures as well. Also, your number of hours. I-compute nyo na. Kasi usually yun lang naman yung tinitingnan yung number of hours. Um, so make sure you check your number of hours na dapat complete siya kasi baka mahirapan pa kayo afterwards original yung binigay ko um if hindi kayo sure 
kung original or photocopy yung ibibigay nyo. What I did is I photocopied everything and then habang sinacheck nila, um, they're just gonna sit. Pwede, mo na, pwede ka naman mag-ask. Mabait naman yung mga tao sa PRC um, sa galeria ko napunta and super bait nung uh, nag-handle sa akin because I had a problem nga. So she was uh, super nice to me. Um, I think ang photocopied lang na pinas ay TOR you should photocopy yung may for board exam purposes na something so you can see it down below I think TOR yung pinaka late yung makukuha because it's it depends on your school yung sa TOR so yun um so it's better if you have all the requirements ready and then TOR na lang kulang yung para makapag submit kayo ng mas maaga so for the stamps and mailing envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. For the mailing envelope, you can actually buy it sa PRC Morayta. Um, yung stamps, there are other people selling it outside, so I think medyo mas mahal sila. You can actually buy the stamps or just pay 50 pesos for two stamps, so para 25 each sa mismo PRC na pupuntahan yon. Um, if hindi kayo na kapunta ng PRC na sa Morayta or like sa main na PRC. Um, so my PRC na sa Morayta, you could actually buy the mailing envelopes afterwards, after mo na mag-apply, or earlier, if gusto mo, pumunta ka na doon, bumili ka na ng mailing envelope. And, kung ako sa'yo, buy two, if you're not sure na makik- matatago mo yun, or just buy one, and then buy another pag nawala mo. Kasi, you will pass that during the board exam itself. So, so first day ng board exams, you will bring that white mailing envelope. And, yung iba na nakakalim, nakalimot, hindi nila alam na kailangan pala yun. Uh, wala at nawala nila. Like, some people have known. And yung iba nakasama ko sa room, they bought from outside because there are vendors outside that actually sell mailing envelopes. And they said na fake daw yun. So, I'm not really sure. They had to pay another, like, 13 pesos. Basta, kahit sa initial registration nung pag, uh, new, for new passers, Meron pa rin stamps dun sa mismong PRC and I don't think na kailangan na ng mailing envelope dun. But, yun. So, stamps and mailing envelopes can be bought sa PRC mismo na Morayta or sa PRC na pupuntahan nyo. You can just ask. So, huwag kayong mahiya na tumawag kasi kami tawag kami ng tawag sa branches kung saan kami nakaskedule. For your picture, um, magpo-post ako ng sample picture here sa blog and here. Um, this is actually the slide is uh, the format that um, Tronics gave me. So I took my picture sa Tronics um, is para makapag kuha ko ng free na um, soft copy. So Tronics gives you the free soft copy of your picture when you take pictures with them. So I just told the ate um, ate for PRC po pa alam niyo po ba yung format. So she actually said yes and she's gonna say na. Yung sa hair, yung ki dapat kita yung tenga, dapat naka um, smile, pero close yung yung mouth, no teeth. Pero online, makikita mo naka smile naman yung sample nila. So parang okay naman. I've seen others na naka smile din naman yung pictures nila. So baka okay lang yun. And um, I actually had one 2x2 two two and one na, one na passport size. Kasi gusto ko 2x2 two two yung sa online ko, and then 1.5 yung ay passport size yung ipapasa ko. So, maarte kasi ako, and hindi ako sure by that time kasi maaga ako nagpa-picture. And then, pero yung iba, isa lang naman. And then, yung picture niyo for the initial registration, yun yung magagamitin for the COR and your ID. So, kailangan fresh kayo doon kasi yun na yung makikita nyo sa ID nyo pag nakuha nyo na yung ID nyo. Um, Yun, so the application form for in um for examination, kailangan uh, printed in a long bond paper. So make sure you print everything in a long bond paper. I think yung oath form, um if bago kayo nagpass for initial registration, then I think long bond paper. So lahat ng ipiprint niyo, I think long bond paper. Um, colored yung an application form ko, but I think hindi naman siya required magi colored kasi yung iba may nakita din ako na not colored siya. Pero, colored kasi, di ako sure by that time. Um, sa lahat ng araw, magdala kayo, like for these three events, bring a marker and a ball pen. Yung marker, I think, sa, two, sa last two events lang. Pero, I mean, last two events, like sa board exam and sa initial registration. 
pero make sure magdala na rin kayo ng marker. Yung ginagamit ko is yung dong A, yung do, double tip or dual tip. Um, I really like that because I've been using it since like first year. And then bring a black pen. I bring... Wala na siya dito. I bring a black pen, the Titus pen, because Titus lang yung ginagamit ko na ball pen. So, I just brought that. But make sure your pen is not smudging. Or pen na hindi ko makalat. Yun. Kasi you will need to write it in some areas. Masaya, masaya yung hindi ko makalat. And make sure it's black para sure na. Okay. And for the boards, so, it's a mix na yun ko. So, let's move to the boards. Um, for the board exam, never forget your notice of agree admission. Agree. Notice of admission. Yun yung wag na wag nyo kakalimutan kasi yun yung pinaka-importante. And make sure before the board exam, i-check nyo yung notice of admission. Yun yung NOAA nyo. And then you read everything. So, yun yung una kong ginawa. Binasa ko lahat ng nandun sa NOAA. And then, I actually check um, yung mga black spaces kasi meron dun you have your name and then before actually after nyong mag-apply i-check nyo kasi yung amin nakalagay Baguio so like place of examination Baguio so we had to ask them na ate pa-correct po kasi Manila po dapat okay so they actually corrected it naman kasi nga may nagka-error lang so make sure you check that before you leave okay again make sure your NOAA has your OR number and Make sure na yung pencils nyo number 2 and yung eraser nyo, yung sharpener nyo, make sure na okay. So, ang ginamit ko for mine is the Mongol one and I really prefer it kasi okay naman yung eraser niya, hindi siya nagsmudge. Sobrang ingay na dito. Food! Huwag kayong mahihang magdala ng pagkain because, yeah, huwag kayong mahihang magdala ng pagkain. A lot of people brought food there and yun, so sobrang okay naman siya. And then, for your reviewers, ang dinala ko lang mga index cards and my notebook. So, I'll see if makakita ko yung picture ng notebook ko here. Yung mga dinikit ko sa wall, actually, dinikit ko lang sa notebook ko kasi tinamad na ako magsusulat. And actually, hindi ko naman siya nagamit. Yung plastic envelope ko na ginamit is yung my handle kasi maarte ako. Pero you can use the normal plastic envelope kasi afterwards, hindi mo naman na siya magagamit or i-donate mo na lang siya. And yun. So, try to go to the place. Bago pala mag board exam, try to go to the place. That's what I did. Um, pumunta ako sa place noon para magtingin if like, ayaw mo magdala ng food or like, ayaw mo magluto. You can see if meron kang mabibilhan sa umaga, if like, may McDo sa tabi or ganun. Um, so, para makita mo, para maging familiar ka na rin, para pagdating mo doon, chill ka na lang, hindi ka ma-ajit. Kasi alam mo na kung saan ka pupunta. Um, ganun din, for the, uh, next for the initial registration, same process pay and print. Pero before you print, or before you pay, kasi magpipay ka dun sa cashier, and mapakita ko later yung setup ng PRC sa may PICC, kasi dun ka ako pumunta. So, if ever na dun kayo, I will draw it out. So, idodrawing ko kasi nagkaroon ako ng time na pagdating ko dun, hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta kasi dalawa yung sides ng parang PRC. So, hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta. So, I will draw it out for you. I will show it in this video. And... Um, before, yun nga yung sinasabi ko, before you print, make sure correct yung information na ipapakita ko sa inyo. So, later, yung parang in information about yourself, kasi yung akin parang nagkamali, kasi nga hindi ko na-check, mali yung place of birth ko. So, pinabago pa ulit online. So, ganun ako ka-hassle. So, para hindi kayo hassle, like, listen to this video and read the blog para hindi kayo magaya sa akin. Um, again, for the stamps, kailangan nyo ulit ng stamps. Uh, meron na sila doon, I think 100 pesos kasi apat yung kailangan nyo. So, parang dalawa sa oath form and then dalawa na ilalagay nyo inside the brown envelope. Kailangan may short brown envelope kayo kasi doon nyo ilalagay yung two passport size pictures. Again, ito yung sinasabi ko na yung passport size picture, yun yung gagamitin sa COR and your ID. So, dapat fresh na kayo doon. Dapat fresh looking na kayo doon. And yung dalawang yun, pati yung stamps, ilalagay inside the brown envelope. Yun yung pinaka last step. So, na parang yun yung pinaka last na step na mangyayari. And then, make sure you have enough cash. Um, hindi ko maalala kung magkano yung pinayaran ko. I will, maybe makikita natin later. And I will maybe put it on the screen. I had to pay 100 pesos for the stamps. And I think I also had to pay 10 pesos for the 
printing kasi doon na rin ako nagpa-print kasi sa cashier nga ako nagbayad hindi sa land bank online. And I think yun lang yun. And yung outfit ko if you're wondering sa initial registration naka pants lang ako para sure and then just a t-shirt I think or collared shirt at ay parang polo shirt lang sinuot ko para at least medyo okay naman yung itsura. And just in case na hindi ako papasukin, may dala akong blazer, if in case lang. So, nasa bag ko lang yun. And yeah, I actually had to ask other people pa nung nasa PRC, PICC ako kasi hindi ko nga alam yung place. Kasi nga sa galeria ako before. So, okay naman siya. Like, the process was okay. I had friends to ask yung classmates ko. And then, you could ask your higher years, uh, higher, higher years, your, um, like, yung mga kilala nyo na nakapag-take na, baka lang maalala nila. Although, yung iba kasi, minsan, hindi na nila naaalala. So, ako, habang naaalala ko pa, or actually, kahit feeling ko nga may kulang-kulang na ako dito, I tried, I tried to, um, list it down para lang ma-share ko sa inyo. Kasi nga, isa yun sa mga nag-struggle ako dun sa buong process nito. So, yun. Let's go. Okay, so first go to online1.prc.gov.ph and then you can just close these uh, boxes, parang i-close-close nila. And then here you can register or sign in if you already have an account. So if you're going to register, you can read these items and then click nyo lang yung I agree, if you agree. And then, uh, yeah, and fill up nyo lang tong mga bagay-bagay and then just follow through. And then sign in pag may account ka na. So, ito na tayo. Then you can read all these things here. So, first of all, ito yung sa picture. So, basahin niyo na lang 'yan. Makikita niyo rin 'yan dun sa mismong place. And then ito nga yung sinasabi ko na parang sample photo nila. And 'yun. So, ito, try nating maglagay ng kunyaring picture. So, ayan, you can choose file and then ito yung napili niyo which is the picture, and then una yung surname, first name, middle initial. So, alam na rin naman nung tronics or kung saan kayo magpapapicture yun. Okay, so now it's time to edit your information. First of all, you can see here is your personal information. You could just input it there, um, your contact details as well. Also, your family background, your education, make sure you put in your school, your employment if you're employed or unemployed, and then your valid ID. So, I suggest ang ilagay nyo na dito is your cedula. Ang nilagay ko nung una is driver's license, pero I think mas okay pag cedula kasi malalagay yun dun sa mismong um, oath form nyo pag initial registration na. So, make sure all these details are updated. And lastly, my other information, and you can click save or cancel. Okay, so now sa transactions na tayo. So, una is your examination. So, since hindi ko na malalagay yung pharmacist dito, so magkunwari na lang tayong civil engineer. And then, of course, yung mismong date of examination, it's given naman there. The examination type, if you're first-timer, repeater, removal, or whatever that is. And then, yung place of examination, kung Manila, Baguio, whatever. And then, click proceed. Hindi tayo magpaproceed kasi hindi naman tayo civil engineer, okay? So, let's go to initial registration naman. So, initial registration, ito yung for new passers. So, lagay nyo dyan, pharmacist, ganyan, and then kailangan yung no one nyo. So, since I've already had my uh, transactions, hindi ko na ilalagay dito. There is also for renewal, pag mag-renew kayo ng ID, and then may mga bago, which is duplicate and certifications. So, dito nyo makikita yung existing transactions nyo. So, ito yung mga existing transactions ko, and this one, yung nagbayad ako sa land bank, this one is the one for the examination. So, like I said, kailangan makapagbayad muna para mapakita na paid, and then makikita mo na yung payment details mo, and then makikita mo na rin yung print document pag paid na yung ganap mo dito. So, same lang din with initial registration. So, kailangan mo lang i-picture yung parang reference number, and then yun yung ipapakita mo sa cashier pag magbabayad ka na. So, next na is yung papakita ko na sa'yo kung paano yung initial registration sa mismong PICC para di ka maligaw like me. So, ito yung number one, and then yung number two. So, yun yung dalawang buildings na pupuntahan or dalawang offices na pupuntahan mo pag nakapunta ka na dun sa mismong PRC. So, ayan yung stairs pag akyat mo. So, meron sa left side and meron dun sa right side. So, dun muna tayo sa one, and then pupunta ka na sa two. Huwag kang pupunta dun sa may paloob kasi alam ko SEC na yun, so hindi ka na papasok dun. Okay? 
So, let's go to the one muna. Doon muna tayo sa first building, a uh, first office, which is yung nasa left side. Okay. Okay, so from the stairs, papasok ka sa door, which is right over there. And then, yung mga blue na squares dito, ito yung mga pupuntahan mo. So, yung first doon, doon ka sa corner, which is andun yung parang cashier nila. And doon ka magbabayad. So, ipakita mo lang yung reference number mo. And then, after that, punta ka doon sa may dulong kabila, wherein doon ka magpiprint ng oath form mo. And then, pipirmahan mo siya. And then, for the stamps, doon ka sa may dulo yung sa kabilang side ng door. And then, of course, yun na yun. Doon ka rin magbabayad. So, exit na tayo at punta na tayo sa pangalawang side, which is yung nasa may right side, the building. Ay, office pala. Okay. So, dito, medyo magulo, pero makikita mo rin naman may mga signs. So, pagpasok mo sa pinto, siguro maraming tao. So, punta ka doon sa may pinakadulo. Kasi parang doon sa dulo, yan, maraming mga stalls. Usually, may mga signs naman na nakalagay. Pero, yun, magtanong-tanong ka na lang if nakakalito. So, may mga chairs dyan sa gitna. Okay. So, pupunta ka, diretso ka dun sa parang third to the last or second to the last. Tapos, may tao dun, nakukunin niya yung lahat ng oath forms nyo. And then, papaupuin ka niya or like, papatayuin ka lang nila sa likod. Kasi usually, madaming tao. So, hintay-hintay lang, ganyan. Be patient. And then, tatawagin nila yung pangalan mo para makapag-sit ka na sa mga chairs and paghintay ka na for your turn dun sa mga stall things, ayan. So, tatawagin ka nila, and then, yun, parang thumb mark, and then, kausapin ka lang nila, ganyan. So, may mga instructions na binibigay while you're sitting, so, makinig ka na lang, and then, magiging okay na ang lahat, at makakuha mo ng ID mo sa old taking. <laughs> So that is it. Don't forget again to go to the blog and read the blog post for more detailed information. Like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video of this series. Bye!